You have to admit that it's often extremely hard to take. And there before the grace of the ones who love me go I. And I survive through remarkable odds to make my talent do what it does, and I do it for love, but then I love being somewhat comfortable. Which means I'm compelled to give you something to make you want to do whatever you can to keep me innovating. And just like the best haters and body hating, spoken word is all that I am. The way that I walk, the way that I stand, the way that I strip my heart down for your amusement. And I know this seems confusing, but I'm using every skill I've ever acquired in order to do it. And even without a band, it still feels like music. Even without a DJ on the ones and twos, it moves the crowd as long as there's a connection. If the gift is a curse and the pain is a blessing. I just have to leave every verse to the universe's discretion. That way, no matter how you move through the field, you'll still catch them. And when it hits you in your chest, you will know it's more authentic, just like the darkest parts of our community, but little bits of God sprinkled in it. And if you understand my heart, no need to be applauded when I'm finished, because honestly, it's the silence in your eyes that provides the reprise and incentive. And I've learned to cry blood that holds the fragrance of jasmine and burns like oil in the cans of aphrodisiac's passion because it's not enough for you to like the poem and let your hands get to clapping. I prefer knowing that when you get home, you're going to feel the need to wake everybody up and show them how it happened. Mm. The laugh and the pain, how mere words made it rain, how you used parts your brain you didn't think you would need anymore. The way the poor spirit left his body then creep like heat waves across the floor throughout the building and burn like sage slowly toward the ceiling and whisper the regrets of our elders interspersed with the laughter of little children and remind you of your brilliance with the resilience of ex-slaves that only been ex for like two days, making their way through the trees by the light of the setting sun and tell your folks everybody knew when the poem was finished because all the heartbeats in the room collapsed in the wood and I can take you to a place in the basement of an important project that used to sit next to the Dan Ryan on the south side of Chicago where they loved me for this. It's no secret that I'm addicted to blowing black powder and the green lights and smashing the bubs with my palms because I believe the blood is prophetic. And don't you worry about where I'm headed. All you need to know is I'm the second coming of the last first. And I know spoken words shouldn't be spoken this greasy, but when it becomes this easy to a man, it's like, come on, what do you expect? When he has to sleep, prostrate inside his closet, cause it hurts so bad, it's right from a place that's deep beneath the center of his parts. And I was always taught that smart people know they're stupid and I believe that I'm completely and utterly foolish if only because I do this for a living giving young poets misgivings I must make this shit look pretty. But when you write with God inside, apparently it hides the gritty. Two 30 pound bags filled with CDs and books, but that's why they say believe none of what you hear and half what you see because most things ain't as easy as they look and you cannot compete with someone like me. At least not to the extent that you require food and sleep, I'm saying. Don't be surprised if I'm on my ground and let me on New Year's Eve. I am this because I claim it. And most people confuse my obsession with being famous when chasing the name for namesake is aimless self-promotion has no place outside of mass marketing. If you ever met me and thought I was arrogant, then you misunderstood me. I'm only into being sincere, making this gift everything that it should be, and I ain't into acting funny, but I am an actual introvert, and if I ain't got something good to say about you, I won't say anything at all, because I ain't into dirt, but... But my work... <laughs> my work reeks like mid-July alleyways. And the rhythm is the smiling face, spray paint on the side of a brick wall in the part of the inner city where most nine of five is known not to enter. And the ideas themselves remain a gorgeous purple like placenta. And I'm a mentor to hood rats and ghetto scholars and a father to followers who will never meet me. All they understand is that every phrase I slang be everything we be. And I walk like I'm from Newark with a bop I cop from Watts and a lean from New Orleans so perfected that you're expected to rush to roll up your windows and cock the locks down on your Lexus. I am the living embodiment of Nellie Hell's message. Cops see the way I'm moving and their judgment gets arrested. Where you leaving? Where you hitting? Son, I know you got a record. You must mean MP3 to Lam AC world respected for making poetry CDs that transfer abundance energy to the blessed. 